To me, the amazing thing about content creation is you can get started like right now, wherever you are in the world. If you have access to a smartphone and you have great ideas, you can be a content creator. Today, I'm going to walk you through my seven favorite free apps for content creation. And I'm going to share what I think their superpowers are and how you can use them to create amazing content. Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Austin and I am a fashion and beauty content creator based in New York City. I use this channel to help micro influencers create great content for their digital brands and make sustainable income from content creation. So if any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to my channel for new videos every Tuesday. When I first started out as a content creator and launched my blog in 2012, there was a big learning curve for me. I have learned so much over the years by doing exactly what you're doing now, watching YouTube videos, reading blog posts, and trying to figure out how I could actually make this happen for myself and how I could look good doing it. The most important thing to remember is we all start from somewhere, but the creation of all of these different apps and creator tools has made it easier than ever to look good right off the bat. So that's why I'm so excited to be here today and talk you guys through seven of my favorite apps for content creation. They are all free, so you can use them even if you just have your phone to work with. Before we jump into the content of today's video, I just wanted to take a quick moment and let you guys know that last week I launched a Patreon community. Within my Patreon community, which was created just for content creators and influencers, you will find things like monthly desktop wallpapers with important holidays and dates to create content around. You'll get access to things like monthly content ideas, challenges, and even tutorial videos and other resources to stay accountable and really start to invest in your creator journey, but on a small scale. For me, there wasn't really somewhere in the creator space that bridged the gap between the free content that you watch here on YouTube and the a couple hundred dollar paid coaching call. So I'm hoping that this Patreon community can serve as an in-between where I'm able to provide consistent and ongoing support for creators at a more affordable and reasonable price. So I will leave a link to an Instagram video where I walk you through the entirety of the community because I don't want to take up too much time in this video today in case you're interested in learning more. And you can find out more at patreon.com slash Austin Tassone. So thanks for letting me share that with you. I really hope you guys find it useful and let's get into my seven favorite apps for content creation. Now I'm going to start out with possibly one of my like top three apps of all time, like that I can't really imagine deleting off of my phone, which is the InShot video editing app. So InShot is a video editing app and it's how I create the majority of my short form video content. What I love about this is it's so easy and so intuitive to use. So you can go to create a new video, you can upload your clips, and then you can really quickly and easily just make a beautiful short form video. So you can cut out kind of dead air, you can add in voiceover, you can even overlay music if you upload your own tracks and have, you know, copyright free music or music that you bought the license to to use. So it's just really all in one. It's basically feels like I have the same control with a desktop platform like iMovie, but on my phone, which is hugely important and helpful, especially for creating and editing content on the go. I mean, a couple of my favorite things that I love about InShot is like, number one, if you see a TikTok or Reels trend where maybe something is timed to the music and it kind of is all going on the same beat, you can import a ton of clips, adjust to the duration so that they're all the same size and you'll have a video in like 15 seconds. This is also a great way to create short form content that you distribute across multiple platforms without a watermark. So I definitely do love InShot for that. Now, if you're thinking, okay, but like, let's say there's a sound on TikTok that I want to use and then distribute to other platforms like Reels or maybe even Pinterest, that brings us to my second favorite free app for content creation, and that is TikTok. I think back sometimes to the world before TikTok, like 2018 for me personally, and that's kind of just a world I don't want to live in. Not only is TikTok the most fun platform, in my opinion, to be on, but TikTok actually has very sophisticated and again, really intuitive and easy editing tools that can make anyone a content creator. And I think that that speaks for itself when you look at the high volume of rising stars that have come out of TikTok just in the last year. I mean, people just get so creative with the way that they use effects and time their videos to certain audio trends. And it is just so effective. 
I mean, two of my favorite features within TikTok are number one, the green screen feature where you can have something behind you that you're talking about in reference to. It's I've seen so many creative uses and that is definitely my favorite effect that you can use on TikTok. And another thing I love is the ability to add kind of different stickers or gifts to make your content more entertaining or engaging. But my favorite type of sticker to add on TikTok is actually when you reply to a comment that someone's left on your video. So if you see someone left a comment on your video and you're like, that's actually a great idea for me to respond to talking to the camera or to respond to by showing them an update or whatever the case may be, when you go to reply to that comment, if you use the camera feature, then you can actually save that comment and have it appear on the screen. So you're able to really have a conversation with people and Reels also just introduced this feature, but if you guys watched my video where I talk about how to make Instagram Reels, I, uh, I don't hold back in terms of how much more I prefer the TikTok editing experience as a user, um, but you can go watch that video to hear my full thoughts. I'm definitely very impressed with the native editing features and video features that TikTok has added into their app. And if you guys want to save that content and distribute it to other platforms without a watermark, if you go into preview and tap the little square at the top to expand it, you can screen record it and redistribute the content that way. Okay, and moving on to app number three that I'm obsessed with, which is Canva. So Canva basically enables you to create beautiful graphics in basically like an instant. And it's also so easy to change and resize the graphics to share across multiple different platforms. So you can create a graphic and then resize it to share to Instagram stories, to your Instagram feed, to Pinterest, and all these other places. Canva is what I use to make my thumbnails here on YouTube. It's what I use to create my media kit that I send out to brands. And I also use it to create graphics for my social media channels, whether I'm making a cover for an Instagram reel or whether whether I just want to share some kind of graphic information with my audience. If you guys are interested in trying Canva and a free 30 day trial of Canva Pro specifically, I will leave a link down in the description box so you can check it out. There really is a lot that you can do with the free version. You can browse templates for pretty much anything. And there are tons of free stock images, um, Google fonts and things that you can use to create designs that look and feel like your brand. I generally prefer to use Canva on desktop, but they do have a mobile app as well, so the choice is yours. And by the way, if you are a little bit newer to this space and you're still trying to figure out like what your brand actually is and what your content pillars are, I did just want to mention that I do have a free guide for you called the Influencer Launchpad. It is my basically complete guide to getting started in this industry. We talk through the importance of the influencer industry. There's a little quiz where you can figure out your why and what kind of influencer you are. And I also give you 30 free content ideas that you can tailor to any niche. So with all of that and more, you guys can grab your free guide right now from austintosone.com slash subscribe or by clicking the link down below in the description of this video. Okay, let's move on and I kind of want to talk about apps four and five simultaneously because they do kind of do the same thing and I typically have found that most people have a preference of one over the other. So apps four and five that I want to talk about are the Mojo app and also the Unfold app. They are kind of similar to Canva, but since Canva really is this like all in one graphic design tool where you can create anything and everything for your business, I kind of group Mojo and Unfold separately because I think of them as creating really interesting and engaging graphics and templates specifically for your social media channels. So like I wouldn't use Unfold or Mojo to create a media kit the way that I would use Canva to do that or the way that I would use Canva to create a PowerPoint presentation. So again, Mojo and Unfold are really specifically created for your social media needs. So I think the biggest thing that you can take advantage of with these two apps is if you don't create video content, this will animate your photo content so it can become video content. And with these two apps, you can create great templates for different types of Instagram stories. You can create things like Instagram reels that are primarily pictures and graphics, and then you could go in and add like voiceover to them. So I think there's a lot of creative ways to use these two apps. When you scroll through the Mojo app, there are kind of different templates, things like fashion, photography, more minimalist things that you can create. 
and they give you a lot of options where you can basically just go in and replace the images and text with your own images and text. Same thing with Unfold, which is now owned by Squarespace. They give you like little, you know, there were some 2021 kind of year end or wrap up stories. Then there were some more simple animations, um, promotional ideas and other things. You can also, for both of these apps, buy additional packs and presets and stuff. Again, I've been able to do so much with the free version that I've not upgraded on either of these yet. Um, and so this is just a really fun way to level up your content and again, turn your photos into video content. I know that video is a big topic of conversation amongst creators lately, but you can still be a hugely successful creator even if you don't create a ton of video content. And this is a great example of that. So even if you wanted to share a post to Pinterest, like you know how you would share a static pin to redirect someone back to your blog, you could use an app like this to make it a animated image where it just shows the photo coming in and then the text and then it goes away. That's a video. Pinterest counts that as a video. So you can definitely use these to get creative in the rest of the content that you make and how you market your content on a platform like Pinterest. Okay, moving on to app number six. This is one of the coolest apps I've ever used. And it also is very good about educating its users about how to use it. And I'm talking about Life Lapse. So the way I found out about Life Lapse is, well, actually they reached out to me via email. So they were really looking just for more people to get on their platform and test them out. So they actually offered me a free year of their pro features, but I have to admit, I didn't even end up using really any of the pro features. Again, there is a lot that you can do here with the free version. So with Life Lapse, you can create stop motion videos and stop motion is really hard to get right if you are just like out here with a camera by yourself. I mean, it requires so much precision and accuracy and I have to say, I'm just so impressed with how easy it was for me to create a stop motion video using this app and it didn't take me too, too long to do. The key thing about life lapse that's different than you just trying to do this with your native phone camera is you can actually set it on a timer. So you can set it to take a photo every seven seconds so that you're not touching your phone and accidentally moving it around because that's the thing that kills a stop motion video is if the camera is moving all over the place. It just doesn't make it as clean and impactful and that feature on life lapse alone is like totally worth it. They also have so many like instructional videos. I believe they have a whole blog too. And they give you a lot of creative ways that you can use this tool that you might not have thought of otherwise. So I have to shout them out like as an overall situation because I think they give users a lot of education. They do have their blog and the tool itself is great. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. Very few creators can do stop motion. So that is definitely something that could differentiate you. Just saying. And last but not least is a good old photo editing app that I have personally been using for like the last five years. And I have yet to fall into the like world of Lightroom presets because this app is so good. And that is Faded. Every time when I log into it, it prompts me to become a Faded Pro, which I again, haven't done. I use the free version of this app and I just love it so much. Not only does it have all of the obvious kind of photo editing features like, you know, saturation, brightness, contrast, things like that, but it also has a bunch of different filter options. It has this thing called clean, which I don't know why, but every time I run one of my photos through it, it just looks so much better. So I always use that when I edit photos. It allows you to resize, you can add grain, you can do a lot of different things here. And for me personally, it's really just become my favorite like all in one photo editing app. So if you guys haven't yet used Faded or maybe you've tried like Visco or Lightroom and you're just like, oh, I don't know. Um, I really would recommend giving this one a go. Like I said, I've been using it for Feel like at least five years if not a little bit longer than that so i love it and i think you'll love it also okay you guys and we've made it to the end of the video but now i need to ask you what are your favorite apps for content creation and are there any that you feel like maybe i left off of this list please fill me in tell me what the tea is leave a comment down below with your favorite free 
content creation apps because I know that we can all learn and benefit from each other and I would love to hear what you guys are using and loving. As a reminder, if you are not yet a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. You can just hit the red button down below this video to see more videos like this. You can turn on the notifications so that you never miss a video from me and I would so appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. If you did find it helpful or if you learned something new from it, that signals to me that this type of content is really helpful to you guys and that I should make more of it. I'll be back again next week with another new video. Until then, thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.